I'm so glad you're here today. Topher the Gopher is here too, but he's actually asleep, so we'll talk to him later. Today's true Bible story is going to teach us that God hears me when I pray. That's our big idea for the day. Let's say it together. God hears me when I pray. God hears me when I pray. It's true. God hears me when I pray. In fact, that's what our memory verse from the Bible tells us. Let me teach it to you. You will, you will come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. Jeremiah 29, 12. Here, here, let's do it together. You will come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. Jeremiah 29, 12. In just a minute, we're going to hear another true story from the Bible. But first, I think that we should tell God thank you for giving us the Bible. Here. Wait a minute. Do you guys know God's phone number? I don't know it. Does he have one? Oh, he doesn't? Oh. Well, if God doesn't have a phone number, then how am I supposed to talk to him? Wait, I'm, oh, I know. You're right. You can't call God from the phone. If you want to talk to him, you have to pray. Let's do that right now. Fold your hands, close your eyes, and repeat this after me. Dear God, thank you for the Bible. Please help me listen and learn from your word. Amen. You know what? That reminds me of today's true Bible story. In today's story, Jesus teaches us about praying. If you're ready to hear the story, wiggle your fingers in the air. Great. First, let's get our Bible. You have that? Awesome. So in the Bible, the book of Matthew, Jesus taught his disciples a special prayer called the Lord's Prayer. Can you say the Lord's Prayer with me? The Lord's Prayer. Awesome. Jesus told the disciples that they don't have to pray really loudly, and they don't have to say lots and lots of words like your teachers might say. But instead, Jesus said this is how you should pray. Can you find the word God in the scripture? G-O-D. That's God's name. The first part of, of the Lord's Prayer goes like this. Our Father in heaven, may your name be honored. That means when we pray, we should remember that God's name is so, so special. <laughs> All right. Listen, listen to see if you can find the part of the scripture that the earth picture represents up here. The next part of the Lord's Prayer says, may your kingdom come, may what you want to happen be done on earth as it is in heaven. That means when we pray, we should ask things, we should ask for things that God wants, not just things that we want. And that was the earth. Listen to see if you can find the bread in the scripture. This, uh, the bread in the scripture. The next part of the Lord's Prayer says, give us our daily bread. That means that when we pray, we should, ask, we should ask God to give us our food or anything else we need to live. All right. Let's see if we can figure out what our sad face is found in the scripture. The next part of the Lord's Prayer says, and forgive us for all our sins. Just as we have also, just as we also have forgiven those who sin against us. That means that when we pray, we should say, I'm sorry to God for doing bad things. We should also say, I forgive you to people who do bad things to us. The sad face is because we did sin. <laughs> All right. Last, see if you can hear the, where the picture of a stop sign may come into the scripture. The next part of the Lord's Prayer says, Keep us from sinning when we are tempted. Save us from the evil one. That means when we pray, we should ask God to help us make good choices. You did it! Good job! You found all the pictures that helped us say the Lord's Prayer. In our story today, Jesus taught his disciples a special prayer. He called it the Lord's Prayer. Do you think that the prayer was just for the disciples? Or do you think we could pray the Lord's Prayer too? I know, you can say it too. The Lord's Prayer is for everyone. Mommy say it, Daddy say it, even grandmas and grandpas say it. And guess what? We can say it too. In fact, let's
let's say the Lord's Prayer right now. Get into your prayer position, close your eyes, and repeat after me. Our Father in heaven, may your name be honored. May your kingdom come. May what you want to happen be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins just as we also have forgiven those who sin against us. Keep us from sinning when we are tempted. Save us from the evil one. That's it. <laughs> Do you think God hears us when we say these words? Yes, he did. That's because when God, God hears us when we pray. Hey, that's our big idea for today. I think we should tell it to our parents when we see them. Maybe we should practice first, though. Hmm. I wonder who we could practice telling. I know. We could tell our friend Topher the Gopher. Maybe he's awake. Let's see if we can find him. Hmm. Uh-oh. It looks like Topher is asleep. I think we should wake him. When he wakes up, we can tell him that God, that God hears us when we pray. On the count of three, let's all yell. Toe for the gopher, wake up. Okay guys, one, two, three. Toe for the gopher, wake up! What, hey, what's the big idea? God hears us when we pray. God hears us when we pray. God hears us when we pray. Wow, that was a big idea. Thanks for telling me. Goodbye, kids. Say goodbye to Toe for the Gopher. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> now, wasn't that some good practice? Now we can go and tell our mommies and daddies when we're done. But let's do one more prayer and tell God how glad we are that he hears us when we pray. Now, everybody, get into your prayer position and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for teaching us your special prayer. I love talking to you. Thank you for listening to me when I pray. Amen. Amen. Goodbye, guys. We miss you so much, and we are praying for you. See you next week.